Hey guys, welcome back to the sixth video of the SciPy tutorial series. In this video, we'll be learning about the linear algebra module in SciPy. So first, we need to import NumPy as well as the Linalg sub package, which is import scipy.linalg as Linalg. So the sub package is called Linalg. So the first thing we'll be learning about is solving linear equations in SciPy. So I'll just run the code at first. So in lines four and five, I have two linear equations with two variables, x and y. And these are three x plus four y is equal to 10, two x plus five y is equal to nine. So let's say I want SciPy to solve the, for the values for x and y. So first we need to express these equations as numpy arrays. So here I have a and a will have the coefficients. So 3 and 4, 3 comma 4, 2 and 5, 2 comma 5. All right, so simply these are the coefficients and the constant terms 10 and 9 are put in another array B. So 10 comma 9. And then I'll use the linalg.solve function and then I'll put in the numpy arrays A comma B. And if I scroll up, you can see that the solutions is 2, 1. So the value for x is 2. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. All right. So over here, you can actually increase the number of equations and variables. So if you have three variables, for example, x, y, and z, and you have three equations, then you can put it in and find out the solution. All right. So this will be a 3 by 3 matrix, and you'll have three values in B if you're doing a uh, linear system with three equations and three variables and uh, linear, the scipy linear module will be able to solve it for you okay so next is a few standard linear algebra functions so here i have a numpy array which is this all right so one two three four five six seven eight eight nine okay and I've also printed out in the terminal. So this is our NumPy array. And the first thing we'll be calculating is the determinant. So if you have done a linear algebra class, you know what a determinant is. It's a important property of a square matrix. So in this case, the determinant for our matrix here is minus three. So that's the determinant. You have to use the linalg.det function. And since the determinant is not zero, we can actually find the inverse of the matrix of this matrix. So we use the linalg.inv function and we simply find out the inverse. So this is our inverse. And just to make sure that this is indeed the inverse, we can multiply the array with its inverse. And when we do that, we should get a identity matrix. So this is our product and uh, by the way in the code remember that you need to use the at operator to do matrix multiplication if you put in asterisk you will end up performing element wise multiplication which is not what we want we need to perform matrix multiplication all right and you can see that this is in fact uh, identity matrix the values aren't precisely zero and one but this is more or less equal to one this is approximately zero this is also zero zero one one zero 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 all right so it's an identity matrix okay so that's finding the determinant and inverse of a matrix next is finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix so here i've defined a new matrix all right so this is our array two so we'll be using that and to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix, we'll use the linalg.eig function. Okay, so this function ends up returning a tuple containing the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and we're simply unpacking it here. And then we'll print out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So the eigenvalues are these. So this is three, this is minus one, and this is three. And then the eigenvectors are over here. So remember that this is actually column vectors. 
eigenvectors are column vectors for this matrix. So the first eigenvector is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 0. So that's the first column and the first eigenvector. The second column is this as shown in my mouse cursor and that's the second eigenvector and then the final eigenvector is 0, 0, 1. All right, so it's in column format and also remember that the eigenvalue is associated with the eigenvector so this uh, eigenvalue is 3 and this is the eigenvector and then this is minus 1 and this is the eigenvector for that and then this 3 and this is the eigenvector for that all right so they're associated with each other as the index and you can see it over here okay so next we'll just perform some simple singular value decomposition so what singular value decomposition is that we take an array and represent it in the form of pdp inverse so p is a matrix an invertible matrix p is the inverse of p and in between them is d so d is a diagonal matrix and that matrix the all the values are zero except the diagonal values and the diagonal values are the eigenvalues and for p p is basically the eigenvectors as columns all right so over here you can see that this has already been expressed as the the eigenvectors are already expressed as columns so this is in fact our p we already have our p and we simply need to obtain our d all right and we need to take this and convert it to a diagonal matrix so first i already calculate p inverse since p is already equal to the eigen vectors and inverse will use the inv function so next we need to make the diagonal matrix so here's the empty list which is the diagonal matrix and then i use a loop and basically the diagonal va diagonal matrix the, all the entries will be zero except the diagonal values where the eigenvectors the eigenvalues are added in and this is what my code does all right and then i simply convert my d which is a python list into a numpy array finally if i multiply matrix multiply p d p inverse i should get the original array and this is what i get and this is in fact the original array so yeah that's how you perform singular value decomposition using scipy again you need to know a little bit of linear algebra to use the linal module in scipy so yeah that's it for this scipy tutorial video if you like this video then please do consider giving a like and subscribe and i'll see you in another video